So uh, it works like that. You cut the bullet, you squeeze the trigger, and it flies. Okay. But you must agree, in a dangerous situation, not a very effective weapon. So I went back to my lab, and I thought up a different design, and this is what it looks like. It's also very simple. It's a simple barrel, like a cannon, and there's a little hole here at the back where I can put in a fuse, like that, and you can cut yourself a bullet from a potato, but you need something inside here that will push the bullet out. So the, I started testing a number of uh, uh, materials, and then I came across this stuff. Okay. Cotton wool, I don't know if you've ever seen that, but if you take a piece of cotton wool and you bring a flame to it, this is what happens. Okay. So for those of you that missed it the first time, let's just repeat and show again. This is the replay. This is what it works like. And there it goes. Real cotton wool? No. It's called flash cotton and it's made up of something called nitrocellular. It's uh, based on cotton wool. It's going through a fairly complicated chemical process uh, for which you need a license to do. It's also not easy to buy the chemicals these days to make these. Okay, so you can't do this at home, even if you wanted to. They also produce a powder from this which can be used in, in bullet casings and uh, to propel real bullets. Now, uh, explosives often work in this way. In the open air, it burns very quickly. So I can hold it in my hands, and the flame is gone before it even touches me. Uh, if you take the normal piece of cotton wool and you burn this, it will burn your fingers, okay, because it burns slowly. The flash cotton burns very quickly, but like many other explosives, if you contain it in a small area, it won't simply burn quickly, it will produce an explosion. So uh, we push this piece of flash cotton all the way to the back, so it comes in contact with our fuse, and we cut ourselves a nice bullet from our potato. And now we're going to test it and see if this is a better design for a potato gun. Okay, so uh, let's see if this thing flies. I'm aiming for the roof there, and see if we can get this going. 